everyone to week one of our new unit called on evolution. Uh, evolution is often a, a, a topic that people kind of start like, ah, evolution. Um, let me just remind us you what we talk about when science, it was like our very first thing that we talked about one of our very first days. And in science, we go through and we make um, conclusions based upon evidence. Um, and it's not about beliefs. So there's a differentiation between what we believe and what science is. Okay, so those are two separate paths. So when we talk about evolution, we are talking about what evidence talks suggests, what evidence um, leads us to think. Okay, so when we are going through these, we aren't asking about personal um, ideals and beliefs. We're talking about what does the evidence say? Okay, let me just put that out there. So we're starting our unit on evolution. Um, evolution, are, are, we have two session, sections of notes. The first one is on Charles Darwin. You probably have heard of Charles Darwin. Um, and who he is and what he did and kind of the trip he took on the HMS Beagle. Um, and he looked at something called the Galapagos Finches, at this, the famous islands, the Galapagos Islands off the, the coast of Ecuador. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And that's what the first section of notes are. When you take those notes, make sure you hang on to those. Because next week, you will use those notes to take the quiz on section one and section two, but you'll take section two next week. So you're going to start this week with section one notes, watch the video, fill in the guided note sheets that are all accessed via Canvas. Then you have two activities. Um, one of them is dealing with um, the Beak Adaptation Lab. So you are going to go through and you are going to... Um, I apologize. I'm just looking really quick to make sure I'm going to tell you the right things. Um, there are two labs. The first one is a beach finch beak adaptation lab. And in that activity, you're going to be going through and you're going to be looking at little different adaptations of beaks and how you can grab different things. So it starts talking about Darwin's, um, beach, um, the different beak structures of the different finches in the Galapagos Island. And then what you're going to need um, is you're going to need some things at home that you are going to like model this and you are going to get some different tools, um, a spoon, a fork and some chopsticks or two things like two straws, something chopstick like, um, and you're going to get some different seeds that you're going to be grabbing. So you're going to be kind of modeling this and do the best with the materials you have. Um, be a little bit creative. And if you can't use some of those, come up with something else that's comparable. Okay. Um, so you're going to go through and then there's a series of questions that you're going to submit via Canvas. Then the other activity you are going to do is about um, the opposable thumb. Right, so we have this. Our, the human hand has this opposable thumb that we are able to grasp things and manipulate things that some uh, other creatures don't have. So it's kind of a fun activity. It's a really fun activity. I love doing this one in class, and I'm unfortunately we don't get to do it together. Um, so do the best you can. You're gonna like tape your thumb down, and you're gonna try to do some stuff, um, and it's gonna be hard, and you're gonna get frustrated. And again, I wish I was there to see it because it's one of my favorite labs. Um, so maybe take a picture and send me a picture of you doing it. Um, but you're going to have to like try to tie your shoes and some button a shirt, stuff like that. So, um, and then you're going to fill that in, submit that via canvas. And that's the activities for this week. Next week, you got section two notes. There's a quiz. I think there's one more activity there. And then we have one week left and I have a video that I'm going to show you. It's called what Darwin never knew. And it kind of takes this idea of what Darwin proposed back in his, his voyage a long time ago. Um, but now with modern genetics, what does new evidence show us? Does it really follow what Darwin thought hundred years ago, 200 years ago, or is it, is it, is it not, you know, so it's, it's a great video. I love it. I wish I could show you all like two hours and actually you can watch the entire thing. We're only asking you to watch 45 minutes of it that following week. So that's kind of the week. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. Keep submitting your stuff via Canvas. We'll keep grading it and answering, leaving you feedback. So make sure you're looking at that feedback so you can kind of see what you can improve on. You always have the option to resubmit something if we leave a comment um, and you don't like it. Um, you can go through and resubmit it. I should say, if you don't like the grade, you can go through and make the revisions that we suggested in your feedback and resubmit. Have a great week, everyone. Enjoy the nice weather that is coming. Um, it's supposed to get nice and warm finally. So have a great week.